DC Tech Share. I'm Tom Grissom. Today, I would like to begin where we left off yesterday. Yesterday, we created a OneNote notebook and we stored it in OneDrive. So this is the OneNote notebook we created. It's called EIU underscore 1718. And you can see right now it says syncing, sync complete. That's because we stored it to OneDrive. And as we add material to this local device, everything is automatically synced up to the cloud. So one of the first things I like to do is over here, you can see it says untitled section and untitled page. So I like to rename our pages and I have my own system. Uh, you can develop whatever you like, but since this was done yesterday, Tuesday, July 25th, uh, I usually like to type in uh, the date, 07 25 2017, and then give it a name. And the reason I do that is uh, all of your notes in OneNote are searchable. So if you do things by date, you'll be able to go out and do a search uh, for those. So we're just going to call this uh, test page. And over here where it says untitled section, if we right click on that, we can come down and rename that section. Uh, it didn't know what to call it when we originally set up this notebook. So I'm just going to say start here. I typically have a start here section in my OneNote notebooks. So this first column over here, we're using the browser. We're just using OneNote online. So if I want to add a section, just come down here and click the little plus symbol and it gives me a new section one. I can erase that. Let me just backspace that out of here. And I'll just for lack of better thing, I'm just going to put section one here. So now that we have section one and you can see here is an untitled page and it, all, it always goes out there and puts a date and time stamp. Now you can change this if you would like, but it's Wednesday, July 26, 2017 as I record this. So once again, I'll do 07, uh, 26, 2017. Let's call this test page two. Now one of the things that's different about OneNote than most programs people are accustomed to uh, is OneNote is a blank canvas. So I can come up here and click anywhere on this blank canvas and start typing. These are called containers. So there's one container. We come down here and click. So we can randomly go out there and type. This is test two. Now the other thing that I really love OneNote for is its ability to support digital inking. So I'm using a Surface Pro device. And if I go to my draw tab, now re remind you this is using a browser. So the browser does support inking if your device supports digital ink. And I'm just going to come up here and choose an ink pen. And I can use this little triangle right here and choose a different color and a different width of pen if I would like. Uh, let me just choose this blue color here and let's use something a little bit bigger. So now then I can go out there and do freeform digital inking. So I can come out here, draw something. This is great for teachers because it allows you to annotate freeform. And if you're uh, teaching a symbolic language like math, science, art, music, you can come out here and draw something that's literally impossible or very, very difficult to type using a keyboard only device. So if I'm doing chemistry, I can come out here. Uh, I can come up here, change my uh, colors. And if I wanna draw something, draw a molecule there of the water, whatever. So it gives me complete flexibility as a teacher. So whenever I uh, want to go up here, uh, so I didn't come up here, I guess it didn't change my name here. Let me hit rename section again and start here. And then I needed to press enter to lock that in. I guess I clicked out of it before I had it typed in there. Uh, so now then we're on the start here section. If I want to add a new page for today, I'll come down here to my page column, click on the plus and 07 2017. Let's call this test three. And once again, I can come out here and type something. And of course I can do screen clips. I can embed YouTube videos. I can embed Microsoft forms. I can come out here at any time and use my digital ink pen and come up here and draw whatever it is I would like. Uh, so it's very, very versatile uh, using OneNote. And all we're doing is using the browser, our Office 365 account, and uh, that's how easy it is to use OneNote to create sections, rename sections, and create additional pages. I can also reorder things if I want to have the most recent at the top, which I typically do. I just grab that page and click, hold, and drag, and move it to the location I want, release the mouse, and it's automatically reordered for me. So until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.